Hello. Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, I do apologise for not making a video in the last couple of days. Been absolutely dying. I <laughs> uh, don't know what it was, but anyway, I'm kind of sort of normal. <laughs> nah, I'm never normal. Anyway, back on point, there was a question on the Curtis Holt Discord and it was regarding the holdout node. Now, I've actually explained holdouts before, but I never actually showed you how the nodes worked. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly add in a different object. So let's just make it something like this. And I'll quickly jump into the shading tab. Uh, let me join these areas together. Give us a bit more room. And I'll assign a new material. So these both have different materials. What I can do here is I can go to add. I can search for the holdout node. I can drop this in. And I can just plug it directly into the surface. Now, depending on the render engine, you can see here it kind of looks grey. But if I go into layout. And if I actually go to EV render engine. It's still the same. But when I press F12. Essentially get a transparent object. Now I want to double check this and make sure it works in cycles So I'll change the render engines. I'll go to cycles. The reason I think this is I might need to enable transparency But we'll just double check it. We'll hit F12 just to make sure And you'll notice that it's black and not transparent and that's because probably of transparency But what I can do here is I can actually go to the render properties Drop down film and there should be transparent and I'll enable transparency and then this time when I hit F12, the object, in theory, should now be transparent. And that's pretty much the holdout node. Now take a look at how you can do it manually. You can do this per object basis as well. But I just thought it was a good way just to kind of ease back into it. And obviously it's a Sunday and you don't want to kind of be blown away. <laughs> do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me in Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.